Have you noticed how weeks of pressure leave you wired at night, foggy in the morning, and detached from things you used to enjoy, and wondered if your brain has simply shifted into survival mode? Welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. Stay informed with quick, easy to listen summaries of our latest articles, perfect for when you're on the go. No reading required. Subscribe for free at Mercola.com for the latest health insights. Hello, and welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. I'm Ethan Foster. Today we're examining how chronic stress reliably produces a depression-like state by inflaming your brain, and how natural progesterone can counter that chemistry restore motivation, and steady your mood. I guide the discussion so you can act on what the research actually shows. I'm Alara Skye, and I'm here to translate the science into clear steps. You'll hear how stress changes specific brain regions, how progesterone interacts with GABA, cortisol, and thyroid pathways, and what daily habits help you reduce inflammatory pressure so you regain emotional stability and cognitive clarity. Chronic stress doesn't just feel heavy, it leaves measurable biological footprints. In controlled research using a standard six-week unpredictable stress model, healthy animals developed hallmark signs that mirror human depression. Loss of interest, reduced movement, and withdrawal. These behaviors track with increased inflammatory cytokines inside the brain and declining function in circuits that regulate mood, motivation, and clear thinking. When progesterone was introduced after the depressive state had already formed, behavior improved. Motivation returned, activity normalized, and inflammatory markers fell within weeks. The study identified that progesterone lowered an enzyme that switches inactive cytokines into active, inflammation-producing compounds, effectively turning down the ignition for neuroinflammation in regions like the hippocampus and prefrontal cortex that guide memory, decision-making, and emotional balance. This matters because it reframes depression under chronic stress as a reversible stress chemistry problem rather than a fixed personal trait. Progesterone interrupts the cascade at multiple points. It calms inflammatory signaling, supports metabolic steadiness, and gives your nervous system a way out of the loop that keeps cortisol high and resilience low. The speed of change in the study underscores how responsive your brain can be once inflammatory pressure eases. A commentary by bioenergetic researcher Georgi Dinkoff highlights the mechanism. Stress, not depression genes, drives the syndrome for most people. Progesterone functions as a glucocorticoid receptor antagonist, directly blocking excessive cortisol activity. It also inhibits an enzyme that raises cortisol and activates another that breaks cortisol down, lowering production while accelerating deactivation. That dual action reduces the on-edge state that keeps you vigilant but exhausted. Dinkov also points to dosing from the animal data. A human equivalent of roughly one milligram per kilogram per day for two weeks produced the antidepressant effect with higher doses offering no added benefit and lower doses less effective within that window. The pattern suggests a partially dose-dependent response, a practical note for understanding how your system might respond when stress has been chronic. Beyond cortisol, progesterone strengthens your primary calming neurotransmission by acting as a GABA agonist. That translates into quieter internal tension, less reactivity, and improved sleep quality. Shifts you can feel as rumination slows and your threshold for overwhelm rises. Progesterone also supports thyroid-related metabolic pathways, particularly T3 activity, linking better cellular energy production with improvements in mood and motivation. A separate review maps progesterone receptors across the female brain through puberty, the menstrual cycle, pregnancy, postpartum, and menopause. The pattern clarifies why your emotional tone can change across life phases. At moderate levels, progesterone increases amygdala reactivity, heightening emotional sensitivity. At higher levels, it inhibits amygdala activity, producing a calmer, more muted tone. Understanding that dose-dependent effect helps you interpret shifts rather than feeling blindsided by them. Those receptors don't work in isolation. Progesterone signaling interacts with the hypothalamic pituitary adrenal axis to set your threshold for irritability, overwhelm, and exhaustion. Efficient receptor activity leads to quicker recovery after stressors. 
disrupted signaling makes stress feel heavier and longer lasting. Progesterone metabolites add a fast layer of calm by modulating GABA receptors moment to moment, shaping anxiety levels and sleep depth. So how do you convert mechanisms into progress you can measure? First, lower daily stress load so your brain stops flipping inflammatory switches, brief interruptions, it slow breathing for 60 seconds, stepping outside, or pausing screens. Pull your system out of alarm mode. These small resets, repeated through the day, reduce the inflammatory signal that pushes mood down and reactivity up. Second, add healthy carbohydrates and regular movement to cut cortisol. If you chronically undereat carbs, your body raises cortisol to make glucose. The article recommends about 250 grams daily, starting with fruit and white rice if your gut is sensitive, then layering in root vegetables, non-starchy vegetables, starchy vegetables like sweet potatoes, and, when tolerated, minimally processed whole grains. Exercise further lowers cortisol, improves sleep, and strengthens emotional resilience. Third, remove hormonal stressors that destabilize your response. Chronic sleep loss, extreme dieting, endocrine disrupting chemicals, and excessive endurance training burden your system and amplify volatility. Lightening that load supports your natural progesterone rhythm and steadies your baseline, so stressors don't dominate your day. Fourth, build emotional buffering that engages your calming circuits. Slow rhythmic movement, warm baths, soothing music, and journaling before bed are simple ways to reinforce GABA-linked pathways. You're training a response you can call on during spikes in pressure, replacing constant vigilance with a practiced shift into calm. Fifth, use progesterone to bring cortisol back into balance. Because progesterone blocks cortisol's effects and improves its metabolism, it helps even your mood, deepen sleep, and reduce the wired and tired pattern. As inflammatory signals fade and GABA tone strengthens, you experience more mental clarity and a steadier emotional floor, moving from survival physiology toward recovery physiology. One misconception deserves to be cleared up. You may have heard that progesterone worsens mood, especially postpartum. What actually occurs after pregnancy is a sharp drop in progesterone, not a rise. The animal data and the mechanistic evidence we've discussed show progesterone acting as a stabilizer, reducing inflammation, opposing cortisol, and supporting energy pathways that correlate with improved motivation and behavior. Here's your practical challenge. Over the next seven days, add three deliberate resets to each day. Bring your carbohydrate intake to the recommended 250 grams using fruit and white rice as needed, and choose one buffering habit at night, such as a warm bath or a brief journal entry. If stress-driven symptoms are significant, speak with your practitioner about natural progesterone in the framework we discussed. Thank you for watching Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. We'll see you on the next episode. Thanks for watching. Subscribe now and click the notification bell so you never miss an update. See you in the next video.